All right, so in this short video, I'm just going to be telling you about how to find current trends and seasonal trends using Google. Basically, this is trends.google.com forward slash trends. <laughs> and may, let me make sure I no, I'm not in the right country. So you wanna make sure that you're in the right country. Now I'm able to see the US results and you can explore whatever you want, whatever your topic is. So I'm gonna put in email marketing. And here we get to search, you know, how, what is the date? You know, what, what is the time frame that you wanna search in? Let's say within the past seven days, see what's been going on, right? And this is also a really great way to kind of get ideas for blog posts sometimes if you feel like you're running out of fresh ideas. So this gives us a little bit of info here. This tells us the interest over time. So this is what was within the last seven days, right? Which is pretty awesome. Um, I love that Google gives us this info. I know it's not like we're not getting like tons and tons of like searches here but it, it gives us some indication of what's happening which is pretty cool if we were typing in something like let's go christmas music oh my gosh this is probably going to be off the charts right now yeah <laughs> wow so obviously when it comes to like 3 a.m. in the morning or 2 a.m. no one's really listening but when it comes to like 7 p.m. let's see 6 p.m. so in the evenings or or in the mornings that's when people's listen when people are listening the most now this can also give you some really great info of when you should post certain topics right so Christmas music is good just to get us, you know, thinking seasonally, but let's go back to email marketing for just, or let's type in another one, digital marketing. Let's just go digital marketing. It's even more general. So here we do, and this is obviously um, later at night at the bottom, and this is at in the morning. So let's see here. Um, hey, where'd you go? There we, there we go. So at midnight, 4 a.m., 6 p.m. So here, people are more, way more active when it comes to like early morning. Kind of surprised actually. Like a lot of these people are like up at like 10 at night, 11 at night sometimes midnight 1 a.m. Wow also let's scroll down here ah so this is where some of most of the the interest is coming from st. Helena Oops. did not want to do that okay India so this kind of gives us an idea of why um, why the times may be like they are. Let me see if I can, I wanna be able to sort. Cause I'm really just interested in the US. Cause that's who my target audience is. Now, if we click in here, now we get more of an idea of Americans' trends, right? Just just America. So still, 5 a.m., wow. 4 a.m., okay. So just really early morning. 4 a.m. So that gives us some idea of maybe when we want to start publishing content, right? When we want to schedule out our content. Because 
this is showing us like when these people are most active and, and searching for these things. So that's just a little tip. Ah, they even give us some related queries, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Referral traffic from blank is the fastest, is growing faster than any other social media. Hmm. And then related topics. Hmm. Very interesting. Right? So this is a great tool to use to find things that are recent, find what's trending. If we just go back here, we can see what's trending right now. Grammys, Trump administration, um, Senate election for Alabama. See what other stories are trending. Got sports, lots of politics. Fire in LA. Hmm. So this gives you the the trending topics right now. And let's just do another search um, for something, like I said, more seasonal. Uh, how, about, how about Christmas cookie recipes? How about even more specific, paleo Christmas cookie recipes? There's a long-term keyword. I mean, a long-tail keyword. Um, <laughs> so virtually nothing except for last year and this November. So let's let's go within the past 30 days. So we've got some nothing. So let's see, November 14th. November 14th. I'm just curious about what day it is because this gives you more insight again to maybe when you when you should post content. So the 14th was a Tuesday. And the 30th was a Thursday. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's interesting to notice over that time. Let's see um over the past five years even. Let's see how it's been. <laughs> so December 1st to the 7th. So basically like those two weeks right before Christmas, that's when everyone is looking up those recipes but this is interesting and you can even see kind of how the paleo trend has grown so in 2012 it was a lot less popular in 2013 it grew a lot and then it kind of dwindled just a tad bit in 2014 really boomed in 2015 really went down in popularity last year and is even less popular this year so that's very interesting to kind of see the trend of uh, of the paleo diet, you know, what if we what if we just did paleo diet, something a little less specific, paleo recipes. So there you go. Two thousand thirteen was its prime year 2013 and 14 were was the year for paleo definitely and it's really dwindled since then but this is a great tool right that you guys can see this right because now we can use this tool for lots of different in lots of different ways for market research you know if you're 
just getting an idea like is a market growing or is it on the decline google trends is probably the first place i would go to find that out because it can give you data all the way up to i think five years is the longest so no 2004 to the present so that's that's awesome like i'm sure if we typed in keto let's just type in keto diet <laughs> now keto's in and paleo's out <laughs> so keto keto diet is on the rise paleo diet is on the decline and not to say that you know one is is better than another because it just depends on our bodies and whatnot but what i'm trying to say is that we can use this to be able to see how markets are growing or declining and i think that's really awesome we can also see at what times content is most popular which is also very valuable information to have as well so that has been google trends and how to use it and i mean i'm sure you guys could just have a ball in here for hours of you know whatever your topic is just doing research of what's been going on in the past five years what's been going on in the past week you know um what are the most popular times and you, you'll get to find out when you should post your content what content you should be touching on, maybe some other related topics to t talk about. So that is Google Trends, how to use it, and I'm sure you guys are gonna put this tool to a lot of use in the future.